Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Market Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is uh, Tuesday, March 13th, and we got a lot of loaded economic news releases scheduled for today, so we'll jump right on into it. Uh, we'll start off the small business index, the NFIB small business index uh, for February's numbers. Uh, January, we had 939 uh, uh, index rating and uh, basically did jump up a little bit to 94.3 so uh, small businesses are seeing some a better outlook for the economy where things are moving so that's obviously they're feeling more comfortable kind of line where everybody else is consumers kind of with the consumer sent sentiment and confidence are up a little bit higher so we're kind of seeing uh, you know everything else kind of falling out of place right now uh, retail sales for February. Uh, we had back in January a 0.4% upwards swing. We thought it would go up to about 1.2, and we did almost pretty much in line with 1.1, so not bad. Now, if you take out the autos, exclude autos, uh, because they can kind of skew the numbers, being a big ticket item, uh, we had 0.7% in January, and we figured it would be about the same, and it went up to 0.9%, so pretty good numbers there. So people are kind of like in the numbers what we're seeing from uh, retail. And we got inventories for January. This is not a big number mover, just kind of more uh, data that's out there that you can kind of help gauge you for the more important numbers as well. 0.6% uh, for December's numbers. And we figured it would come down a little bit for January and actually went up. So people are uh, having, creating more inventories for or have more inventories for January uh, versus what they had in uh, December. And job openings uh, for January, you know, we had 3.5 million for December, and basically, you know, came in the same way. So January's job numbers look a little bit more. The more jobs have opened or remained the same as it was in December. Uh, and then, of course, today at 11:15 uh, Pacific Standard Time is the Fed announcement. So the they usually have their every six weeks their meeting, uh, two days. Uh, so they convened yesterday and then uh, today, and then 11:15 Pacific Coast Time. Uh, they will go ahead and uh, provide their announcement. So one of the big things that uh, a lot of people are waiting for are uh, there's talk about maybe a possible QE3. Uh, one of the things that there, people are waiting to see if anything uh, develops there. Rumors are kind of running around. And another item is uh, they want to see if uh, the Fed's going to keep that statement where they're going to keep rates low until end of 2014. So that's something they're going to listen very closely because if we're showing signs of uh, economic recovery, why would you keep waiting that long of a period? So they're kind of waiting to see if they're going to hold to that uh, statement uh, this time around as well. So be prepared. Uh, and that could be definitely a market mover. So once you see that announced after 11.15, between 11 and 12 Pacific Standard Time, you could be, see some pretty big swings in the market. Okay, uh, but as of right now, with the uh, market, uh, stock market's up. So everyone's up across the board. So we'll kind of see how that's playing out in the bond market. So basically, the bond market's kind of downwards as uh, rumors started talking spread around yesterday. The QE3, uh, we see a big decline yesterday. Uh, it did close the gap. Uh, we had opened up. Uh, and today we have another opening gap uh, to the worst and hitting the floors uh, of support. And again, uh, we're kind of testing the 103 level right now. And as you can see, uh, clearly, uh, you know, the bond market, every time you have a QE3, a lot of times it goes in, the, in a different direction. So uh, because it could, you know, and basically inflate uh, the the. the the threat of uh, all this government spending create a lot more inflation is what the concerns are. And as you may or may not know, inflation is the biggest uh, uh, enemy of bonds as it erodes the value of the bond over time. So uh, interest rates are a little bit higher today as of so far this morning. It could change after the Fed statement depending on you know what's being said, any surprises in there. Uh, but as of right now, rates are a little bit higher uh, today. So, all right, folks, uh, we'll just call it a day, and uh, you guys have a wonderful day, and we will catch you tomorrow. If you're on Mike's Daily Market Report, please subscribe and get your free daily updates. Have a wonderful day.